This video is sponsored by ROG. Hey guys, John here. So I started filming for this video back in May and it was supposed to be posted like early July. But with videos like this, there's a ton of moving parts so delays are to be expected. Not only that, my wife and I welcomed our baby boy so lots going on for sure. Multiple days of filming, lots of coordination, but we got it done and I'm very excited and happy to share this video with you. Let's start from the beginning. This is my friend Ralph. He is one of my best friends here in Anchorage and in fact, he was the best man in my wedding. His family moved into their new home in May of 2023 and with that he got a dedicated space for gaming, his other hobbies and interests, and a bit of productivity. But as a father of two beautiful girls, pursuing personal interests takes a backseat. So I offered to design the space for him and told him I'd furnish it as much as I can. Designing a space takes so much time, money, and effort, but thankfully I worked with amazing companies who are willing to invest in this project and make it a reality. So in this video, you'll see a mixture of newly purchased products, gifted items, and previously loved gear that I stored for a time like this. My hope is that this man cave serves as a place for relaxation, self-care, and enjoyment, even if it's done only once in a while. Ralph had a pretty simple wish list. He wanted walnut wood elements, dark green accent wall and plants around the space he said he trusts me so that's all i needed to hear after looking at his space this wall was the obvious choice for the desk location to avoid the excess light from the west facing windows which can be especially harsh in the summer plus it gives him a nice surface area for an accent wall and to hang things up we looked at several green paint options and it didn't take much until we settled on jasper from sherwin williams I haven't experienced with dark green paint before. I got one that was too dark so I knew we needed to go lighter than that and this one was perfect. We started prepping the area and I taught Ralph the tape and call technique to achieve a really crisp line for the accent wall. Basically, you tape around the edges of your work area. I like to keep the tape one continuous piece. I find that this gives me the best result. Then I apply a bit of caulk so it's on the tape and the walls. Then with a wet towel on hand, I use my fingers to scrape off the excess caulk and wipe it onto the towel. This requires a bit more upfront work, but the result is just so much better. Just look at it. Ralph and I were obsessed with his paint color. In fact, he texted me one morning to let me know how much he loved it, which made me so happy. For his desk, I gifted him my suede desk from Ergon Office, which looked amazing next to the green walls. I love this desk so much. It looks super clean and classy, and it really helps elevate your space. It's a 30 by 60 inch electric standing desk that comes with a matching drawer, casters, and we added the new cable management solution from Ergon Office which helped keep this setup really clean. Because of the perforations, you can simply use zip ties or cable ties to mount the excess cables, and then you can plug all your accessories onto the included power bar. Before fully setting up the desk, we went ahead and installed the surrounding elements so that we have a better idea of what we'll need to order. We started by installing this ladder shelf from Amazon on the right side of the desk. Then we mocked up the grove made wall shelf on top of the desk by using painter's tape before actually mounting it. Despite being careful about poking holes through the new walls, we still made an error. I had done the math in my head and had the right number. That last minute, Ralph corrected me and it was the wrong number. <laughs> Wait, how you Is this a blooper? Yeah. Well, good at it and good document. We failed. Measured twice, three times. Oh my gosh. Should we double check this? But we just laughed it off, drilled new holes, and moved on. After that, we played with the nano leaf hex panels using the app to figure out what kind of pattern we want to create for the space. Once we figured that out, we started mounting the panels onto the walls. We got the smarter kit along with the expansion pack, which gives us 10 panels to achieve this pattern. These panels give the space character and it adds a really nice ambient lighting. There are several modes to choose from and of course, you can customize it to your liking. We also installed a nano leaf light strip behind the desk to add more interest and help with the nighttime vibes.
After that, it was time to build the desk setup. ROG was so generous to send a new computer for this build. We got the G22CH, and let me tell you guys, this PC is a beast despite its very compact 10 liter chassis. The case has a minimal design, it looks very sleek, it has a dude logos, branding, and tasteful red accents that give it enough character without it being too gamery. In fact, there's only two RGB strips in the front panel, which I thought was a really nice touch. I love small form factor PCs and it's crazy how much power they were able to pack in the G22CH. Gone are the days of needing a big tower in order to get a decent performance. Inside it has an Intel i9-13900KF, NVIDIA RTX 4070, 32 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte SSD. In the very low chance that that's not enough, the tool-free design makes it easy to upgrade or simply dust off your computer. This model is the water-cooled version, but there's also an air-cooled one if that's your preference. The combination of the i9-13900KF processor and the RTX 4070 graphics card will surely handle any task you throw at it. Video and photo editing is a breeze, and playing various games is very enjoyable. In fact, I tried playing Apex and Valorant on this thing and man, the gameplay was so smooth. This device is so versatile, you can use it in various environments, it looks professional enough to be used in a workstation, it's a great centerpiece for a full-on battle station, and its compact design makes it a perfect console replacement for a living room setup. If you're looking for a computer that can do it all, I highly suggest checking out the ROG G22CH. To take this setup further, we decided to get the 27-inch ROG Swift OLED gaming monitor. It has a 240Hz refresh rate, 0.03 millisecond response time, an anti-glare coating that reduces reflections for accurate colors and better viewing experiences, 99% DCI-P3, true 10-bit color, and so much more. I am obsessed with this monitor and I actually want one for my gaming setup. The display is fantastic, rich vibrant colors, deep blacks, it's great for consuming content, playing video games, and anything else in between. It comes with a stand that has a brutalist style to it, which I kind of like as it complements the PC really well. The stand itself is sturdy and gives the monitor a good amount of adjustments. We wanted to get a mouse that has different connectivity options, so we decided on the ROG Chakram X. It grips very nicely on the hand, the buttons have a nice tactile feel, very responsive. It also has a joystick which you can use just like you would a joystick from a controller or you could switch it to digital mode where it acts as four additional buttons. For his keyboard we chose the Falchion. It's a 65% compact gaming keyboard with pre-lubed ROG NX mechanical switches which gives it nice smooth clicks. It's obviously great for gaming and even a bit of productivity work. Here's a sound test. The mouse pad we got is the Grove Made Wool Desk Pad. This is the light brown color and the medium plus size. We got this purely from an aesthetic standpoint. We didn't want something that was too gamery. And for Ralph's casual gaming style, it should get the job done. If you have suggestions for mouse pads that are great for gaming and also look sleek, please let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking about upgrading my gaming setup soon. For consuming content and casual listening, we decided to get the Edifier R120DB in black. These speakers produce impressive sound quality considering its price point. The sound is rich, crisp, and clear, and definitely good enough for everyday listening. We decided to set them on the speaker stands from Belolo. It was perfect because it uses design elements that complements what we have in the space. The assembly was straightforward. You just screw the metal pieces onto the wooden peg and you simply set the speakers on top of them. You don't need to use screws or anything. And despite that, the speakers feel secure in place. On top of the desk, we added this two-in-one headphone stand from Satechi so that he could charge his phone and also have a place to store his gaming headphones, which is the ROG Strix Go BT. It's a wireless gaming headset with active noise cancellation technology, noise canceling microphone, and low latency performance. We tested the different noise canceling modes and it was honestly so impressive. The built-in mic was also pretty good, so giving out comps to your teammates shouldn't be a problem. This headset has up to 45 hours of battery life and thanks to super fast charging, you can easily get five hours of use with with only 15 minutes of charging. And of course, no setup is complete without a proper chair. In my opinion, this is one of the most important things you need to 
have a great gaming and work experience. For Ralph, we got the secret lab Titan Evo. It came in this big box, which is about 80 pounds. Every piece was packaged nicely, and the assembly was easy thanks to the clear graphic instructions. He chose the stealth colorway, which has a black leatherette upholstery, which is 12 times more durable than PU leather. It has red stitching that matches the red details of the G22, and the carbon fiber textile gives it a nice material shift. The Titan Evo has a ton of customizability, lumbar support, complete recline and tilt, adjustable armrests, and this magnetic memory foam pillow. I'm usually not a fan of gaming chairs. Part of it is from an aesthetic standpoint, and part of it is I've had a terrible experience with gaming chairs in the past. But I must say, I'm impressed how comfortable and feature-packed this one from Secret Lab is. They really thought of everything you would want in a chair, and this colorway we selected has more of a subdued vibe which fits my style better. Since the main desk is dedicated for gaming, we wanted to build another desk for Ralph's other interests like practicing and playing Yu-Gi-Oh, painting some 40k minis for Warhammer. For this setup, we decided to use the desk he got from Amazon. It's pretty basic, but it gets the job done. It has some casters so he can move it around if he needs to, but most likely it'll stay by the window to take advantage of the natural light during the day. Underneath, we have this black filing cabinet to store his tools for painting, more cards, and office supplies. On top, we added a few accessories to make the desk more functional. This desk shelf from Grove made with a tray was a great way to add storage for his most used tools. We also added a desk mat to give it visual organization. Then we also placed this Atechi desktop charger to easily plug in accessories like this Nomad phone stand. When working on his other hobbies, Ralph uses his laptop to refer to things or watch streams and videos. So we decided to add this JSOX laptop stand which nests well within the Grovemade desk shelf. It's pretty compact so it doesn't take up too much of the desk. On the right side of the shelf, we mounted this BenQ desk lamp to act as additional lighting for painting or even as an ambient light at night. We see this setup adapting to his needs at any given moment. It's a perfect space for him to lay out his deck, practice and prepare whenever he has a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. It's a space for him to assemble and paint his minis and it's a versatile setup that he could explore other things that interest him. To decorate his space, we didn't need to buy much. We bought our Birds of Paradise together, and he was gifted a couple of plants which were still too young and small, so we decided that we would buy fake plants for now for the sake of the video, and wait for those to grow and replace them. On the wall shelf, we decided to place one of the fake plants, his dog's photo, and one of the gifted plants that he got. On the ladder shelf, we placed this globe, a few favorite books, Polaroid camera, priced Yu-Gi-Oh cards, an old Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP, and a stash of trading cards. After setting everything up, we decided to add this Govi light bar to add some balance in the space. It just felt like it needed it, and I think it was the right call. After going back and forth, we decided to mount the monitor using an Ergotron monitor arm. This gave his setup a cleaner feel and gave him more desk space. This space turned out even better than I imagined. Typically, I would use a 3D modeling software for a project like this so I can explore different options, but this time the approach was more fluid. It's almost a build as I go situation. At every stage of the build, we were able to review the direction of the setup and adjust as necessary. And I think it paid off. The main desk is perfect for everyday tasks and late night gaming will definitely be more enjoyable. With Ralph's increased accuracy due to all the RGB in his space, I expect him to carry us through multiple rank wins in Valorant. And as for the second setup, it's perfect for casual nights assembling, painting, and practicing for tournaments. And if he happens to pick up another hobby, not that he needs it, this man cave should be able to make space. This build is definitely one of my favorites. Getting to work with my friend and bless him with a setup like this feels so rewarding. So thank you to all of the brands who were so generous. You helped me make my friend's dream setup a reality. And of course, thank you for supporting this channel and helping me make videos just like this one. If you guys made it this far into the video, type in dream in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
This game sucks. <laughs> I hate this game. 